Today, we are going to be investigating some in-cabin air filters. We're halfway through February, and unfortunately, I have bad allergies. So I really do care about a good in-cabin air filter that's going to last for a while, and it's going to filter out a lot. So I'm investigating the K&N because it uh, claims that it captures contaminants and microscopic particles, which most filters do. The biggest thing I'm also curious about is it claims up to 25% more, 25 more airflow. So that's interesting to me because in the summertime, when it starts to get really hot in the south, when I climb in my truck, I've got black leather seats. So I want it to cool off as quick as it can. So we've got an anemometer. So we're going to see if a, I bought a, Another in-cabin air filter not too long ago. It's not really that been that used much. So I'm going to see if the cheapo one is about the same as this one, or if this one is cools off quicker. So we're going to uh, do some meter readings, see what this one is, maybe even take it out, see what it is without a filter in there. And then we're going to test the K&N. So let's uh, climb in the truck and we're going to get some readings on the old one. And continue on okay guys so what i have done is i have taken a tie wrap tie wrap this anemometer to the truck bent so that way we get the same accurate readings so right now we're sitting at 12 mile per hour as far as the vent is concerned blowing the air out so i've got it on high so i've got it as high up as it'll go and uh so before we do the K&N, let's take the in-cabin air filter out and let's see what it reads then. Okay, so the in-cabin air filter is like most vehicles these days inside your glove box. So you just open that up and then you have to squeeze both sides. So let me do that. Squeeze both sides right there and right there. And then there's a little clip right down here you just push that to the left and it unlatches right here so now that'll just drop on down and now there is the in cabin air filter cover so what you want to do is you want to pop that loose right there and uh over here it will pull to the left so once you pop that loose you pull this cover to the left like that and it comes right out so what we went with was a frame so I'm going to take the frame out this is what a lot of people go with so you just pull that out well if I can get the thing all right so let me put you down for just a second and we are back so there you go empty box so let me get the cover back on and we'll see how it does without a filter inside so let's check that out all right so right now we are blowing air through the truck and it is just slightly higher it's 12.6 12.7 so we have not moved this it's in the same exact spot so it's just a little slightly higher and now it's going down so um not a crazy amount of difference so now let's grab the uh, k and n air filter and see if it uh surely it wouldn't do better than that because that's with no filter so i don't know let's check it out okay so before we install the k and air filter, here's the Fram. So you see it's not that bad. It's only been in there about a month. Um, other side, not too bad. So here is the k and in in-cabin filter. Which it definitely looks a lot nicer um, it's got the uh, rubber around it it's not super flimsy like the other one so we're just gonna rip into this all 
And there you go. So that's a K&N. And this is a Fram side-by-side -side comparison. So this one definitely looks a little bit better built. So hoping I won't ever have to replace it anymore. So if I keep cleaning it. So let's go ahead and stick it in the truck. See how it performs. Okay, again, we're going to press on this. And then we're going to slide to the left. Take it back out. So something I noticed on this uh, K&N air filter, I was struggling earlier to get the thing out, the Fram. This has a nice little pull tab right here. So this is going to slide right in. Just like that. So, but yeah, there's that pull tab. So if I want to pull that out, I can just grab that, comes right out. So that's in there. So let me take this and slide that to the right now and clip it in. So let me go ahead and climb on the other side of the truck and crank it up and get some readings. All right, so this is actually pretty impressive. We're sitting at 13 miles per hour. I mean, it's not crazy numbers here, but it'll cool it down a little bit more possibly. And uh, so good job, k &N. Okay, so that was a pretty cool little test. Appreciate y'all watching. So um, if you like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up and uh, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. So we'll see y'all.